a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Ilhan Omar Ilhan Omar is a Somali-American politician from Minnesota. In 2016, she was elected a Democratic Farmer Labor Party member of the Minnesota House of Representatives, making her the first Somali-American legislator elected to office in the United States. On November 6, 2018, she became the first Somali-American elected to the United States House of Representatives, and will represent Minnesota's 5th Congressional District, which spans Minneapolis, Edina, Richfield, Golden Valley and other suburbs. Along with Rashida Tlaib, she was one of the first Muslim women elected to Congress. She is also the first Muslim former refugee to be elected to the House of Representatives, and the first woman of color to serve as a U.S. representative from Minnesota. Early Life and Education Omar was born in on October 4, 1981, in Mogadishu and was raised in Baydabo, Somalia. She was the youngest of seven siblings. Ilhan's father, Noah Omar Mohammed, is a Somali, and worked as a teacher trainer. Her mother was a Benadiri, and died when Omar was a child. She was thereafter raised by her father and grandfather. Ilhan's grandfather, Abuka, was the director of Somalia's National Marine Transport, with her uncles and aunts also working as civil servants and educators. After the start of the Civil War in 1991, she and her family fled the country and spent four years in a refugee camp in Kenya. In 1995, Omar and her family immigrated to the United States, initially settling in Arlington, Virginia. In 1995, they moved to Minneapolis, where Ilhan learned English in only three months. Her father, and grandfather emphasized during her upbringing the importance of democracy, and she accompanied her grandfather to caucus meetings at age 14, serving as his interpreter. Omar became a U.S. citizen in 2000, at the age of 17. Omar attended Edison High School and volunteered there as a student organizer. She graduated from North Dakota State University with bachelor's degrees in political science and international studies in 2011. Omar was a policy fellow at the Humphrey School of Public Affairs. Early career Omar began her professional career as a community nutrition educator at the University of Minnesota, working in that capacity from 2006 to 2009 in the Greater Minneapolis-St. Paul area. In 2012, she served as campaign manager for Carrie Zedzik's re-election campaign for the Minnesota State Senate. Between 2012 and 2013, she was a Child Nutrition Outreach Coordinator at the Minnesota Department of Education. In 2013, Omar managed Andrew Johnson's campaign for Minneapolis City Council. After Johnson was elected, she served as his senior policy aide from 2013 to 2015. During a contentious precinct caucus that turned violent in February 2014, she was attacked by five people and incurred some injuries. According to Min Post, the day before the caucus, Minneapolis City Council member Abdi Warsame had told Johnson to warn Omar not to attend the meeting. As of September 2015, Omar was the Director of Policy and Initiatives of the Women Organizing Women Network. The association advocates for women from East Africa to take on civic and political leadership roles. Elections in 2016, Omar ran on the Democratic Farmer Labor ticket for the Minnesota House of Representatives. On August 9, Omar defeated Mahmoud Noor and incumbent Phyllis Khan in the Dfel primary. Her chief opponent in the general election was Republican nominee Abdumalik Haska, also an activist in the Somali-American community. In late August, Ask renounced his withdrawal from the campaign. In November 2016, Omar won the general election, becoming the first Somali-American legislator in the United States. Her term began on January 3, 2017. Tenure and political positions Jeff Solo of Roll Call has called Omar a progressive rising star. She supports a $15 hourly minimum wage and free tuition for college students whose family income is below $125,000 as well as greater accessibility to student loan forgiveness programs. She is an assistant minority leader for the Dfel Caucus. Israel 
Omar has been critical of the Israeli government, referring to it as the apartheid Israeli regime, asserting that Israel has hypnotized the world to overlook the aerial bombardment of civilians, which she characterized as evil doings, recommending that the University of Minnesota divest from Israel bonds, and criticizing a law intended to prohibit the boycott, divestment and sanctions movement, accused of anti-Semitism by a few right-wing critics. She has responded that her criticism of some of the Israeli government's actions in no way implies hatred of Jewish people. These accusations are without merit, she said. They are rooted in bigotry toward a belief about what Muslims are stereotyped to believe. At an August candidates forum held in a synagogue during the last week of the 2018 primary campaign, she said a boycott of Israel is not helpful in working toward a two-state solution, and that, it is going to be important for us to recognize Israel's place in the Middle East, and the Jewish people's rightful place within that region. Campaign Finance Allegations In 2018, Republican State Representative Steve Drozkowski publicly accused Omar of campaign finance violations, claiming that she used campaign money to pay a divorce lawyer in 2017, and that her acceptance of speaking fees from public colleges violated Minnesota House rules. Omar denied the allegation about the legal fees, saying they were related to her campaign, but said she would return the speaking fees. Drozkowski later accused Omar of using state resources and staff for private business and purchasing plane tickets for personal travel with campaign money. An October 2018 editorial in the Minneapolis Star Tribune argued that Omar should be more transparent about her use of campaign funds. Omar responded that the allegations were politically motivated, and she would instead focus on the issues. 2018 on June 5, 2018, Omar filed to run for U.S. Representative from Minnesota's 5th Congressional District after Representative Keith Ellison announced that he would not seek re-election. On June 17, she was endorsed by the Minnesota Democratic Farmer Labor Party after two rounds of voting. She won the August 14 primary. She faced health care worker and conservative activist Jennifer Zielinski in the November 6 general election, which she won. On election, she and former Michigan State Representative Rashida Tlaib became the first Muslim women elected to the United States Congress. Personal Life Omar is Muslim and belongs to the Majetin clan from northeastern Somalia. In 2002 Omar became engaged to marry Ahmed Hirsi. They applied for a marriage license, but the application was not finalized. The pair had two children together before separating in 2008. In 2009, Omar married Ahmed Nasser Elmi, a British citizen. In 2011, she and Elmi had a faith-based divorce, and in 2017 the two were legally divorced. In 2011, she reconciled with Hirsi. They had a third child in 2012, and in 2018 they were legally married. Omar, Hirsi, and their three children live in the Cedar Riverside neighborhood of Minneapolis. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?